please welcome back to my channel so I'm really excited to be filming this for you today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite perfumes so I've got eight to share with you and I'm going to start with my main favorites which are my Chanel's so let's get straight into the video I'm gonna start off with the um, Coco Mademoiselle Chanel now I love the fact that it's a classic um, classic bottle. I think it oozes Chanel and it oozes style with the square bottle and the way the top is. I just love it. Um, moreover, I love the smell. Now this one has got in it, um, it's, it's a classic pretty girl sort of scent and it's got a mix of citrus, sweet patchouli, which I love, white floral rose and I generally wear this whenever I'm going out. So if it's an evening or daytime if I've got like a, a place or an occasion to go to I generally will pick up this bottle and I will wear it because it is my absolute favourite so yeah um, this one is actually in um, Eau de Parfum now uh, there's a difference between Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette I don't know if I've said that right but Eau de Parfum is more stronger um, and it kind of lasts longer whereas Eau de Toilette is more of a mm, a refreshing smell so it sort of stays on um, at that moment and it comes on and it's more sweet and it's sort of it's refreshing that's the way I can describe it but the Eau de, Eau de Parfum sort of lasts longer and it's generally more expensive as well um, now these bottles they have a whole range of them they have the small sizes they have the medium sizes and then they have the um, big sizes which is 100 mil so i think 100 mil 75 mil and i think it's 50 mil i'm not certain but generally the price ranges from 40 pounds all the way to 100 pounds and i'd say the eau de perfumes are pretty expensive they range from 100 so yeah this is one of my favorite i don't get it that often but i do love it so second perfume smell uh perfume smell. sorry about that guys second perfume that I'm gonna go through is the Coco Chanel. Again, the bottle is exactly the same. Um, it's shaped the same, but it's got like a gold rim and a black um, cover to it. Um, now this one I find is more spicy. Um, and again, it's something that I would wear more in the evenings than in the during the daytime, even though I do occasionally wear it during the day. And this one has got smells of um, rose, mandarin, orange, peach, cloves and sandalwood and I think vanilla as well so yeah it's a mm, I love it scorchy smell now generally the best time and best way to sort of keep your perfume lasting longer is to kind of like spray them on your wrists which is like just here like that and on your neck so they, those are the sort of times and things that smell will last longer for you so yeah that's my second my third is another Chanel bottle and this one is that uh, how beautiful is that bottle again it's the got the square shape to it and the same sort of top so you can sort of tell it's a Chanel signature bottle um, now this one is more definitely for the evenings because it's I find that it's more it's, it's stronger it's sort of more distinct smell and it's got in it um, rose jasmine geranium indonesian patchouli and so again patchouli is in there sandalwood vanilla and musk um i generally find that this is pretty sensational so when you when you kind of wear this perfume you feel good you feel very womanly um it's got a lot of sex appeal to it really so i find that wearing chanel's just oozes confidence so if you're a confident person and you love Chanel's they definitely definitely the bottle for you yeah so I like that one so going on from my Chanel's I'm gonna go into the my funky bottle perfume which is the alien now this is a smaller version I do have a bigger version of this as well um, again this perfume ranges from uh, 35 to 75 pounds so this one I think was about 45 because it's the medium sized bottle yeah so yeah I, I really like the, the 
the actual um, look of this. So it's actually called Alien and it actually does look very alien-fied. It's a beautiful purple bottle with like the gold um, to it. Now it is an amazing smell. This one is like one where you, but every time I wore this one, I've always had people ask me what I'm wearing. It's that that smell that you kind of really want to know what it is. Then this one is um, got inside it vanilla. I think it's got um, sensational soft rich solar accords. Um, and it's a scent that I would say that allows you to find out what it is. So it's kind of like a mysterious smelling um, perfume. So yeah, that one. The next one I'm going to go for is Gucci by Gucci. Now I love this one. This is a very florally smell. It's got in it, um, let's have a look. It says Gucci has got... It's citrus, pearly rose, peony rose, peony rose, um, osmanthus flower, sandalwood, and again, the bottle is like fantastic. I think I like the square bottles quite a bit, um, and the smell is so beautiful. It is a florally smell. It's very summery, very spring type smell. Generally, all perfumes you can wear at any time of the year, but I generally like this one, summery and spring time. So yeah. The next one is the Da Vinci Play. Now, how funky! I think I get attracted to a lot of to a lot of these perfumes with the way they look as well, not just the way they smell. Although this one is absolutely amazing, it it actually looks I thought like a phone at first because it's got like that little play thing and it's got like funky things going around the side. So yeah, and it's a bottle that way you spray like this. So yeah, I find that this one's quite quite a captivating smell to it. It has in it um, things like orange blossom, um, a cords of flare hair flower, and um, it's kind of like a florally woody scent as well. So it's got a warm scent to it. I would say this is a very seductive smelling perfume, um, and it's very bold and seductive. So yeah, this one's another one of my faves. Another funky bottle I've got is um, this one. So. This one I have had for a long, long time. It's an old bottle and I don't think this place does it anymore. It's a place called Holster. Now they, they do still smell, uh, they, sorry, sorry, they do still um, sell perfumes, but this one um, I don't think they sell anymore. It's called Sadie and I love the fact that it looks, it kind of looks like one of the Marc Jacobs um, bottles because it's got like the flower thing to it. It's such a beautiful smell. It's a very, very fruity smelling smell. Um, and sort of it's got in it um, nectarine, wildflowers, sand. It's a very fresh, very spring, again, uh, spring sort of smell, I'd say. So yeah, again, that one's one of my faves. So then the next one. And the last one is actually Chador by Dior. And this bottle is, again, very very classic um, it's got the gold rim to it and you can see the perfume It's quite a big bottle as well actually I think this one would have cost about 75 pounds so yeah yeah um, this one has in, in it uh, ylang ylang which is amazing um, Damascus rose which again I love that smell jasmine um, so again this one is rarely for more or less, I'd wear it for the daytime. I would wear it on the uh, evening look, but I don't think it's strong enough uh, because I think it's an like eau de toilette, not an eau de parfum. So yeah, I would tend to wear this during the day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and comment below and let me know which one is your favourite um, out of the ones I've shown or if there's any others that you've got favourite, um, let me know. Um, also, let me know what your plans for the weekend are. So I hope you have a good one. Let me do my one, two step. Five, 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 five.